let's see let's device microphone okay everything's good okay i think i'm live but stream elements hasn't i tried to stream like earlier but it was like raining actually actually you can see it there stream elements is here you can see it right now my lighting is quite bad uh, it's actually really dark in my room right now i did not turn the lights on but it's very cloudy uh yesterday there was like a storm so we did not have electricity <laughs> yeah yesterday now uh there's still it's still like you know raining a bit right now it's not raining before i started my stream i had to restart my stream because like the rain was modeling the sound i couldn't hear my voice i'm not even sure if like the mic can pick up the rain but i, I tried to kind of see the i tried to hear the vods right i stopped the stream looked at the vods thankfully the the rain was not caught by the mic but right now it's i think it's going to rain again right now there's no rain uh but yeah whatever <laughs> if it does rain uh at least i've confirmed that it's not getting picked up by the mic so yeah uh today today is a different stream so i just received my talk right because before like i was hyping it up at some point i'm gonna i'm gonna you know i'm gonna post my first tech talk i'm gonna show it to you guys so yeah i, I have it it's sadly it's in 720p <laughs> i couldn't get like an hd version but i have it here in my youtube and i'm just gonna react to it i'm gonna tell you guys my thought process when during this talk what was i feeling what was i thinking <laughs> and yeah let's just and for me, it's like the reason why I'm watching this is not because I want to cringe, okay? Because <laughs> I'm going to cringe because I'm hearing my own voice. I'm hearing myself. I'm going to cringe. I know. I just know. But I think for me, it's like I want to, I want to, I guess, look at it critically and also enjoy it, right? Critically in the sense that I want to have talks in the future. This is like an online talk. But like maybe in the future, I'll do like an actual public talk offline talk where i'm talking to like real audience there's a stage i'm holding a microphone and then there's like a projector here at my back or something and i'm like walking around the stage and presenting my talk i'm so excited if that ever happens in the future and this is like me this is like where i started okay because <laughs> i'm really bad at public speak public speaking uh before this talk i i did like last minute preparation i watched a lot of stuff about public speaking i read a lot of stuff about public speaking i tried my best to present you know with the things that i've learned during my preparation and from what i remember okay because i haven't watched this but from what i remember uh i i had fun okay that's what i remember i had fun during the talk and after the talk i it was positive emotions but again a lot of it has to do with my preparation right I've, I've talked about it in my previous streams where you know like even if you're nervous you try to reframe it as if you're excited so that such that once people start complimenting you it actually you can actually accept the compliment because if like if you're nervous you can't really you think of it as p pity like it's not really a compliment but like if you're actually excited during the talk you had fun when someone compliments you after the talk, like they say, hey, your talk was really good, you actually accept the compliment. And yeah, that's why for me, it was like positive, overall positive. But I think a lot of it has to do with my prep, with my preparation. Yeah, <laughs> if you're curious about my preparation, uh, it's in my previous uh, streams. Uh, it's in my previous VODs too. Like this one will be like, a, probably like later, this will be released later. Like probably like a bit later like if you look because i have a i have a i have some pending videos to release so yeah like probably around november this this vod will be like released around maybe november 30. yeah yeah uh so yeah let's start <laughs> let's start watching and cringe let's cringe together guys <laughs> let's cringe together but I think it's gonna be fun this is my first tech talk i'm i'm not sure what i feel right now <laughs> i'm actually unsure 
I'm not sure what I feel right now, but let me check first. Okay, right now, okay, microphone is okay. Uh, let me double check my OBS. OBS, everything is good. Okay, and I'm gonna watch it. This currently it's private. Eventually, I'm gonna release this uh, video. So yeah, let's watch it. This is in 720. Oh, I actually watch parts of it already. I already watched like a bit of it, but let's go back. I already watched a bit of it, but don't worry, guys. This is genuine reaction. <laughs> I, I just watched like I was I was curious about the quality of the thing, so I watched like maybe a couple minutes. But then I realized, hey, maybe it's a good idea to watch it on stream, and then yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, let's start. Hello, is that it? My test. Hello, hello. Hello, Paul. Can it now? Yes. Okay, it's Paul. You are okay. You are audible. Oh, I wish it was 1080, but yeah. How are you, Sir Sabin? Sorry, pardon. How are you? <laughs> Okay. Can you see the screen? Yes, of course. Okay. I'm polite to Okay, okay. Okay, so I'm good. Kakatayan ko ina actually. Very good. Very good. So, so it's great. So I don't know. Let me start the top. Para, ano? Yes, yes, Bob, please. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, the title, Leveraging Global Talent Adaptive. Mahaba yung title. Uh, pero, okay, let's start. Adapting to remote work. Uh, di naman to complicated, like, you just need a laptop and an internet connection <laughs> and you can work anywhere. Like, kahit nandun ka pa sa, ano, sa Boracay, you want mag, mag staycation ka din. As long as, again, may laptop ka, may internet, you can work anywhere. Nagkakilala ko, if kilala ni si Nico, diba si Nico, ano, naging classmate niyo ata yun, like, he works at cafes. Yung mga cafes, nag-hop lang siya, cafe hop, tapos dun siya nag-work. May office din siya, pero like, again, what you need, laptop, internet, bam. Si, si Jan, naging professor niyo, before siya, before siya, ano, before siya nagkaroon ng studio, she used to, ano, uh, film siya sa mga cafes, dun siya nag uh, product placement, yung mga clients niya nasa abroad. Again, saan <laughs> mo na lang laptop, tapos internet, you can work anywhere. Kung naman yung setup ko, I can't really do that kasi may, may setup kasi ako sa, sa space ko. Dito yung monitor ko, yung work laptop, camera, may mic ako dito, headset, PC, diba, speakers. So, I can't really bring, hindi <laughs> ko na madadala. Uh, pero, I'm more of the type na I stay in a place for mga il ilang years before I come move to a long place. Pero, again, depende lang naman yun sa preference yun. Pero yeah, this is all you need: <laughs> laptop and internet connection. Yun. So ensuring legal compliance, the man. Ah, uh, sabihin natin like nag interview kayo like nag interview kayo ng company tapos ah uh, you got lucky <laughs> or Pinasbasan kayo ni Lord, nakapasa kayo sa interview, right? Now, may contract. Bibigyan kayo ng contract niyan. Contract, tapos nandito yung uh, salary offer, tapos meron yung ano, meron yung, yung responsibilities mo, ano yung mga, it's more like, pag may mangyari sa'yo, hindi liable yung company, mga ganun, <laughs> mga legal stuff. Tapos, after nun, bibigyan kayo ng mga, ng time, ng company, before kayo mag-start. Like, yung sa'kin, binigyan ako ng two weeks. Two weeks to uh, collect government requirements, work requirements, may, may ano yung papel, tapos may listahan ng mga requirements. Yun lang naman, tapos, from what I remember, have you, have you guys played like, ano, mga RPG games, yung mga role-playing games, di ba, yung, yung kagaya ng Pokemon, di ba, like, let's say, for, let's say, for example, ano, uh, yun, let's say, for example, wait lang, okay, paano naman na yung chat? Let's say, for example, my dragon. Tapos kailangan mo islay yung dragon. So kailangan mo ng sword para mapatay yung dragon, right? Para ma para ma craft mo yung sword, kailangan mo ng leather, tapos kailangan mo ng iron. Yung leather, kailangan mo, kailangan mo mag-fly punta dun sa village na yan para punta ka sa farm, papatay mo yung mga cows, tapos para mag-drop ng leather. Tapos yung iron naman, tatawid ka pa by boat, tapos may cave dun, tapos 
slimes doon sa mga iron ores. Papatay mo yung slimes, may iron ores. Tapos eventually, di ba? Di ba? May, ano ka na, may, may items ka na to craft the sword. Tapos pag craft mo ng sword, okay, pwede mo nang, pwede ka nang mag-slay ng dragon. Punta ka sa dragon, eh, one hit ka ng dragon, and kailangan mo mag-revive. Di ba? Yung RPG games. I experience ng mga RPG games, ganun yung experience sa pag-collect ng requirements. Uh, it's very tedious. Like, let's say for example, NBI, NBI clearance, kailangan mo ng ganito, kailangan mo ng barangay certificate, kailangan mo. Tapos yung mga thing na kailangan yung thing na kailangan mo, is may kailangan din sila, and it's like, yeah. Kaya di ba, yung sa akin, apat, apat lang actually yung hiningi sa akin, apat lang. And it took me two weeks. Two whole weeks. Ang dami kong masayang na days ngayon. And that's all I remember when I nag, collect ako ng work requirements. Don't worry, like it's enough. May experience yun din yung, yung suffering na experience ko when I collect ng work requirements. Yun. Yun lang naman. Uh, actually, that's it. It's uh, enough. Kasi yung kanina, yung mga sinabi yung adapting uh, about uh, adapting to remote work tapos ensuring legal compliance. Those things, yeah, while important sila, right? They don't really matter if wala kang job. <laughs> diba? Wala kang trabaho, like, anong gamit nun, diba? So, yeah, kaya ako, diba, like, I, I thought na since university students kayo, university students kayo, then, uh, and I'm in the industry, like, why not, diba? Since ako, I, I found a job, and maybe I can share some insights, like how I did it, yung journey ko, and what I've learned, you know, and yeah, Malenyo, this might be like the most important talk <laughs> so this year para sa inyo, right? Like, babalikan nyo pala itong talk na ito. Yun. So, yun. Uh, this is a premiere, by the way, because I have it again, this is a private video. I haven't released the vid, so this is the premiere. You're, you're, you guys, if you're tuning on Twitch, you guys are seeing it for the first time. <laughs> backseat right vip uh okay so there's a reason why this thing right this has the title and then has my name on it and b before the previous ones actually uh i've explained this in my previous stream but it was not my title like the the, the first one like the adapting to remote work yada yada the, the, the long ass title that was not my title it was the title that was selected on me after I finished making the slides for this topic. So yeah, it was a bummer for me at least. Like I was like, uh, how do I say it? I was flabbergasted. <laughs> yeah. But I had to adapt, right? I had to adapt. So I was given a different title and I was like told just improvise. <laughs> just do just say whatever. And, like it doesn't matter. Like as long as like, this is the core of the talk. And yeah, <laughs> that's what I did. I just improvised. It's not really improvisation because I, I did I did actually prep for it. For a bit, like I prepped for it. There was a one day actually that I prepped for it. Yeah, I do remember like during this time. Like actually, now that I'm watching this right now, I'm quite surprised I'm not cringing. I'm actually doing well so far. I cannot believe it. <laughs> no, I mean like the 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 speaker. Like when I was speaking, like I cannot believe I'm actually I can. I'm surprised, bro. You know why? You know why? I remember during that moment, I did a lot of things before that stuff. I did a lot of things to, to kind of settle my nerves, right? Like I did walk around, I, I watched videos that hyped me up. What else? Like I did like techniques to kind of like reduce the nerves, you reduce your nerves, right? But even then, even then, I'd be lying if I said that when I started the talk, that I'm actually calm. No, I'm not. I was not calm at all. I was actually like, my heart was still beating fast. And <laughs> my heart was still beating fast. But like, I did not show it. Like, I did not show it. And I was proud of myself for not showing it. But I was actually a bit nervous. I was, I was nervous, but like, I did not show it. That's why it came off as if I was confident. And I was pre prepared. But at the same time, it's not like I prepared it. Because like, you can see, like, I actually it's not scripted at all like i actually was kind of a organic stuff which is which makes the talk more genuine and i really like that it makes it yeah i think i'm seeing the reactions of the viewers i think especially like john mark 
<laughs> he's like nodding and stuff he's actually listening uh thank you thank you denmark <laughs> thank you for listening to my talk i'm not sure uh, i actually didn't when i was like i remember when i was doing the talk i was not i did not see this 47 others people watching i thought that whatever i was seeing on screen was the people i was talking to so i was assuming maybe like 30 max maximum 30 right were watching <laughs> i did not expect that this is like actually more than that yeah so this is like the meat of the talk so let's continue guys ah oh, i'm actually not cringing <laughs> i'm not cringing guys it's it's funny it's funny wait 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 hmm? wait Sorry, that was uh let me check first if the camera can see me. Cam can the camera see me? Can the camera see me? Oh it's actually oh wait. Never mind, it's still cloudy. <laughs> uh it was water. Uh like the water delivery guy. The delivery guy for water was asking if it was already delivered because I, I, I asked for delivery because I'm running out of like drinking water. It's drinking water. Uh, I live in the Philippines where top tap water here is not drinkable, okay? So we actually have to order drinkable water. I think it, that's true for like the whole of the country. I don't know why. Like there's no like water treatment plants anywhere. I don't know why. Like it's, it doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. E. Uh, but yeah, moving on. Uh, let's continue. Essentially what I want to talk about you Meet, meet talaga ng talk na to is how to get a job in tech 2024 mm -hmm. uh, ngayong ano, ngayong 2024 so to give lang like an overview like why I think na this talk is relevant uh, ito yung perception ko, this is not an accurate graph by the way, perception ko lang to this is like my perception ng year 2020 to ngayon, right, ito yung graph ng tech market. So, papansin nyo, like, there's like this upward trend around 2020, 2021, diba? like, may, may upward na trend. So, ito yung pandemic. Ito yung pandemic tech boom. Diba? So, ano nangyari ng pandemic? Pandemic kasi, no, nag-lockdown. Lockdown. So, kung nag-lockdown, ano nangyari nung nag-lockdown? People can't really uh, get out. So, yung wala silang ibang libak to use their phones, to use their laptops. So, dito muso yung ano, yung, yung Netflix, diba? Like, like think about it, diba? Like, bakit ang uso ng Netflix ngayon? Like, Netflix, instead of going sa mga sinihan, diba? Like, pag na Netflix na, instead na, uh, the grocery ka, anong gagawin? Like, maglalasado na lang, mag-shopee, mag-Amazon. Instead na, instead of meeting people, na like kung gusto mo makipag-date sa ano na, di ba? Like, andiyan na yung, ano, Tinder, yung online dating. Tapos, dami na, ang dami. Like, di ba sunod-sunod yun? Like, kagaya nito, this is like Google Meet. Di ba Google Meet? Instead of like me being there sa, sa, sa inyo, like being an, an offline speaker, di ba? Speaking in front of you guys, di ba? I'm speaking in front of a camera. So, lahat, like, lahat na related sa tech ng mga na companies, like, nagkaroon ng boom during this time. Ng boom. And if makikita mo yung, yung, yung thing, yung, yung peak ng graph, right? Yung peak ng graph, that was around like mga August 2021. Yun yung pinaka-peak niya ng ano, pandemic tech boom. So during this time, if pumunta kayo sa YouTube, pumunta kayo sa YouTube, like search for videos uh, during this time, 
most of the widgets that my company okay. don't. It's like how to get how to be a web developer in three months, how to be a software engineer in four months. Tapos meron pa mga videos na day in the life of a oh, okay. Spotify dev. Na na yung mga nakita mo na videos dun is like yung yung buffet ng company dun na kita mo kumakain na lang sila di sila nagwork like ang dami nun puro day in the life day in the life tapos kasi yun yun eh like ang, uh, like parang nashow ko ito na ang daling makapasok sa tech di ba? it's so easy to get into tech na kahit yung grandma mo yung <laughs> yung lola mo baka makapasok sa tech yun pero again not all good things last di ba? everything that goes up eventually will go down kaya nakita mo yung graph it went down pero why did this go down itong graph na to why did this go down so ano kasi like after pandemic so after pandemic <laughs> I want to see the reactions of the viewers so people I want to see the reaction but this thing this thing uh, I don't con- I have zero control over this okay I was not the one recording I don't know who who recorded this I think it was one of the faculty I think that recorded this but my god please the right click i please it this this persists okay thankfully it doesn't persist but <laughs> ah how i wish that i recorded it myself yeah it would be like 1080p in obs but next time next time once i do an online speech i'm gonna record it myself yeah. i was the reason why i did not record it myself i was concerned with the i guess i was concerned with the latency or like not latency, but more like how it would affect the RAM. Because I'm on a meet. Like I don't want I don't want to add like a layer of something that can, you know, explode or implode. Like because yeah, like you have OBS running on the background, like it can add like a layer of like something that can cause like technical difficulties. Like I wanna I guess during this time I'll just wanna focus on the talk. So yeah. But I thought about it. I thought about recording. By OBS, but like I chose not to do it. Mm, I'm gonna think next time, maybe, maybe I'll do it. Like, I ask the other person to record, and I'll record also. I also record my my own thing, and then see like if mine is corrupt corrupted, right? Because again, we we never know what will what might happen during the recording. Uh, a lot of things can happen. So yeah, yeah. I think that's what I'll do, and then if it's corrupted, and I'll ask for the cop, like what I did now. Uh, again, I'm learning. Okay, I'm learning. This is like my first tech talk. Like, there's a lot of things that I can learn. I'm just glad that I'm not cringing, and I'm actually I'm looking at myself, and I think I was, I'm on a roll. <laughs> it's actually yeah. I want to keep this up. I want to keep this up. Improve my game in the future, but like yeah, this is like the standard that I want to set myself. Like the pace. The baseline standard, right? Yeah. And now go out. My choice na sila. So instead of like, ins- instead of like, mag Netflix, di ba? My choice na sila na mag cine. Instead of like, mag dating apps, my choice na sila to meet people, di ba? Like, they have a choice. So you mga tech companies, they started losing users and they lost a lot of users. Good. Isa pa yun, like they lost a lot of users or they lost revenue, di ba? So, since they lost revenue, they have to cut costs. Di ba? Kailangan magtipid yung mga companies kasi, ano yun, they're like playing on negative, negative yung profit nila. So, ano yung ginawa ng companies? Di ba? Anong ginawa nila? It's like layoffs, to cut costs. Di ba? Layoffs, sunod-sunod yun. Layoffs, I think yung nauna nun is like yung Twitter, like they cut like more than 50% ata ng ano nila, ng company nila, like boom, nawala, like gone. Tapos, I know, so many of Meta, so many of Amazon, so many, and they actually, lahat, halos lahat ng tech companies, uh, layoffs sila. So, ano pa ba? Ano pa ba yung mga factors like bakit gumawa yung ano? Yung bakit gumana yung graph? I just want to clarify. Even though I have a, a second laptop here, uh, there's nothing here. Okay, this is off. This is my work laptop. This is turned off. But like you can see on the camera that I'm looking at the sides. It's just me thinking. Okay, <laughs> this. I'm not joking. There's no script. Uh, maybe there is. It's the only. Th- Actually, no. There's no script. Uh, only the thing that I'm seeing at my monitor. It's a slide, and then there's like the presenter view, right? I can see the next slide and the previous slide, and I can kind of like uh, remember my thought process why I made a slide. It's mostly for yeah. It's mostly for helping me remember. But like 
I do not script talk at all, which I'm glad I did not do. I just want to clarify that because <laughs> I don't know why I even wanted to clarify that. But like looking at me now, I'm I'm looking at the side. <laughs> I'm constantly looking at the side. It, it seems as if I'm reading something that I'm actually not. <laughs> AI, AI, remember, remember, around 2021, late 2021, ChatGPT, the hype of ChatGPT, and then the hype of ChatGPT, the cloud, the Lama, like, the hype of AI. So, the businesses, the companies, the leaders, business leaders, like, why would we hire people when we can just use AI? So, that's it, it's like, and then, what's that? Have ghost jobs. Di ko alam kung familiar ka sa ghost jobs pero the ghost jobs kasi para siyang job application, right? Pero wala siyang wala kang papala. If you try to apply to that job application, walang mga yare. Like nothing. You will not get anything. You will not get rejected. You will not get ghosted. Kasi nga wala. Wala wala kang papala don. So yung ano yung purpose ng ghost jobs? So the purpose ng ghost jobs is yung mga HR, mostly HR na they're trying to research the market. Gusto nilang i-research yung market, like, ano yung preference sa mga tao, ano yung, sino yung mga, sino yung mga nag-a-apply. Like, usually, you will see this, like, try mo mag-apply sa mga jobs, makikita mo yun. Like, they're trying to survey yung ano yung ethnicity mo, ano yung age mo, ano ko ba, Asian, Hispanic, tapos ano yung, uh, like, are you willing to work remotely, are you willing to work hybrid, yung mga ganun, mga ganun questions, like, they're trying to get, they're trying to get information for you for research purposes. So, wala silang intention to how. And, the thing is, this should be illegal. Illegal dapat to. Pero sadly, wala kasi. It's like, there's no regulation. So, kaya, again, if you try to see a job, it's like really hard to actually tell if this is like a real job posting or a ghost job. And sadly, it's prevalent. Like, it's like, I think a good 50%, 50, 60, 70. It feels like 70 percent na. Like, there's job applications that don't exist. Like, there are jobs that don't exist, but may, may job application but for some reason, may job board, may na, ano. Yun. And everyone is, ano, ito, ito, salarin din to. Uh, online job applications. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I clicked wrong. Online job applications. The online job applications, like, that I said, before, before LinkedIn, you know, before LinkedIn, ano pa eh, like, we have a company, tapos, nag-try sila mag, maghanap ng applicants, right? So, so, they, Usually, makukuha nila mga lima lang, lima. Tapos, if they, they're like famous, mga famous na companies, baka sampu yung makuha nila. So, like, so, if lima yung applicants sa company na yun, yung chance mo to get hired is one in five. Di ba? One-fifth yung chance mo. Tapos, kung sampu naman, one in ten. Now, dumating yung LinkedIn, yung mga online job applications, it's so easy to apply for jobs now. So, Mag-try ka mag-apply, click mo, easy apply sa LinkedIn. Yung previews, nakita mo agad yung mga, ilan yung mga tao nag-apply before you. It's like 1,000 plus. So ngayon, yung chance mo to get a job is 1 in 1,000. Di ba? Nag-chance niyo. It's like, it's looking bleak. Hindi siya, yeah, like, again, yun yung, yun yung, ano, yun yung, marami pang factors like interest rates and stuff. Pero like, yun yung parang, Hindi kasi siya, ano, hindi siya yung isa lang. It's like multiple factors na sunod-sunod, tapos combination, tapos yun. Kaya boom, gumanon yung, nag-crash ba yung, ano, yung mark. And yun, actually, yeah, parang, yeah. <laughs> yun. So, ano yung relevance nito, itong graph na to? Kasi around this time, is when I was applying for jobs. Yeah, so I, I experienced it firsthand. No... I think mga late 2022, parang ano pa yun eh, like, medyo, like, na-realize na, eh, parang, mafe-feel mo na talaga na parang mahirap nang mag-apply, mahirap nang makakuha ng job. Tapos pagdating ng late 2023, I was like, it was hell. <laughs> hell na talaga siya, like, it, like, you were, I was not getting any feedback, puro ano, ghost, puro ghost, puro, like, you're lucky if ma-reject ka. You're lucky if makakuha ka ng rejection letter. Like, ganun ka, grabe yung market. Like, parang wala nang ano ba, wala nang, decency yung mga tao, like, yung mga companies, wala na silang, ano, they don't have in, that enough respect to give you a re rejection letter. Like, they just, well, it's just silence. So, yun. Ano yun, it was hellish, pero, 
Yeah, but even then, I, even in this really bad market, I got a job. And not just one, actually, I got three. <laughs> I got three, like the long internships and my current job. So, you know, that's why I think that uh, this might be like the, the most important talk in Paris and you know, <laughs> this year. <laughs> you might look back on this talk and, you know, Bahami Matutunan Kayo. Yun. So, brief background about me. So, I'm a software engineer. You know, specialization is Python. As I said, I have a one year and six month total experience. Ko. The first internship is at DICE. It's in Manila. It's a startup in Manila. And then, early five, a uh, fintech startup based in Singapore. As you currently go on, current company is Utility. It's uh, it's not really a startup. Matagal na sila. Pero yung culture nila is a startup culture. And they're based in Canada. Yun. So, yun. Are you guys excited to know? <laughs> oh, nice. I'm seeing like, you know, Alex. <laughs> yeah. So before we start, before we start uh, answering the question, like, you know, like what are tech companies looking for? Because like, they're looking for someone because for some reason, I don't like, what did they? What are they trying to find in me? What are they trying to find in other, nobody, you know, other applicants that the that I have, that I have. But before before we answer that question, think about what is your perception of tech market, perception of the parties involved. Actually, you can see it. Like <laughs> just at, the, at this point, I I was actually like really concerned. Like I was not showing it, but like in, at the back of my head, I was really concerned if I was speaking too fast. I remember it. I was speaking too fast, but I'm glad that I can understand. I can still comprehend what I'm saying. But at the same time, I'm like, maybe it's because it's I'm me that I'm reacting to me. Like I'm reacting to myself. That's why I can understand. <laughs> I can comprehend what I'm talking about, right? But like, I'm curious, like, yeah, I'm actually curious like, once this video becomes public, that this talk like becomes public. I'm gonna schedule it later, maybe around 10 p.m. I'm gonna schedule. I'm gonna schedule this to be public. I'm curious, like, if this ever get any views, right? This stop, this stop. Like, was I? How do you say? For people, it, what's the term for it? Legible? Uh, is it legible? Like, you, you, what you speak is clear. Speak clearly, clearly meaning. Ah, uh, no, no term. Hmm. Articulate. How about articulate? Yeah. Was I articulate? Yeah, that is one. Was I articulate enough that my view, my audience, which are university students, right, were they able to actually understand? Like, because <laughs> I was really concerned at this point. Like, was I still, you know, <laughs> was the way I speak still okay? Because I, I felt it. I felt it that I was speeding up. And, yeah, I was speeding up. Part of it is nerves, yes, but again, I was not showing it. But like again, this was like early on, right? It's still sixteen minutes in. Like later on, like I think we might be able to notice that I'm actually like a bit more comfortable. That's what I remember. That early on, I was kind of still a bit nervous, but like as the talk goes by, I actually started to get more comfortable, and yeah, I was able to like control the pace a bit more. But well, like I'm curious, I'm curious. Like <laughs> during this time, right? Yeah. Anyways, let's continue. That was such a tangent. Well, about the tech market. So, sabi ni employee, employees, sila yung apply for jobs, sila yung mga aplikante. Sabi ng employee, it's hard to land a job because the market is saturated. Bakit ba nasabi ni employee to? So, like, di ba if we look back and in that slide kini na like, you know, because I mentioned about layoffs, right? I mentioned about layoffs. So, yung layoff kasi ano siya? Like experienced na mga tao, like they have like a tons of experience, really talented people. Na layoff sila, like no warning, natanggal sila ng tanggal, na walang sila ng job. So na walang sila ng jobs. So now they're in the tech market, nasa market sila, like they're looking for jobs and they're desperate. Kasi wala sila ng trabaho. Tapos may pamilya sila. Usually ba matagal na sila? Eh. Matagal na sila sa industry, so pamilya do sila most most probably. Tapos they're desperate for jobs. Tapos dumating yung mga fresh graduates. Fresh graduates, mga bootcamp, 
Brands. Mga bootcamp brands. Tapos yung ako, ako, self-taught ako, self-taught. Uh, Pawin shop out yung mga self-taught. Tapos halo-halo sa market. Di ba? Halo-halo sa market. So like, it makes sense. Bakit nila nasabi ito na it's hard to learn a job because the market is saturated. Ang dami, ang dami. Tapos imagine, if you experience yung kasi ito, like, nandun na ako sa final interview, tapos ilan na lang kami sa final interview, right? Tapos yung, yung mga ibang applicants, yung mga ibang mga ibang candidates ba sa fact na ano, pipiliin ng company, tinignan ko yung LinkedIn nila, tapos nakita ko five years experience, and I'm like, bro, this is like a junior position. <laughs> like, entry level yung ina-apply namin, tapos bakit ka nandito? Pero yun, yun, yun kasi yung nangyari. Kasi, again, experience nila na layoff, tapos desperate sila for jobs. So they're willing to down scale. They don't downgrade yung, ano, yung, yung pay, pay level nila ba, yung, yung position nila just to get a job. So yun yung mga kalaban mo sa so, so job market na yun. Kaya, this is completely valid yung sinabi nila. Pero, sabi ni employer, employer is sila yung companies na nagbibigay ng jobs. Like, sila yung, sila yung post ng mga job postings. So, sabi nila, we're struggling to find talent. I want you, I want to pause. I want you guys to pause. think about Bakit sila nagsushruggle to find talent when ang daming, ang daming tao sa market, di ba? There's like a lot of people that are looking for jobs and they're struggling. You know, like if you search for, ano, kung tatalo mo nga search, ano yung demand for tech? It's growing. The demand for tech is growing. And hindi siya, hindi siya pababaha. It's like a, an upward trend. Pero, they're struggling to fill the positions na kailangan nila. <laughs> it doesn't make sense if you think about it. Pero, there's a reason for it, okay? And this would make sense if we understand what talent even means. Well, what are they trying to look for? So talent means skill. Skill. So if talent means skill, maraming applicants, what does that mean? Most applicants are on kill. Okay? So, hindi actually, like, ano lang yun, parang pagtingin lang natin na maraming applicants, right? But actually, the, the ones that can actually fill the jobs, pupunti lang. Because most of them are unskilled. So, what does skilled even mean? You know, like, sa tak kasi, it's closer to like a uh, being a carpenter, closer to fucking carpenter over being a doctor. So let me paint a picture para mas maintindihan niya. So imagine ako, imagine ako, may lote ako. I have a plot of land. Tapos gusto kong mag-build ng dream house ko. So like I want to build my dream house, di ba sa, sa lote ko. Pero wala akong skills, wala akong skills to build my house. So yung gagawin ko is a outsource ko yun, right? Like mag-hire ako ng carpenters. So May dalawa kong candidates. I have two candidates, si Carpenter A at si Carpenter B. So, si Carpenter A, ano siya? Ah, uh, kasi yung theory niya when, ano, when, in terms like sa carpentry ba, like, like, alam niya yung materials na gagamitin, alam niya yung bakal, yung type ng bakal na gagamitin, like, alam niya yung paano gumawa ng foundation, gaano kalalim, like, lalagin ba ng spring, if para, para pag lumindol, hindi, mas, hindi, mag, hindi magkatas yung bahay. Like, alam na yung sim, like, anong materials, alam na yung, uh, alam na yung, yung budget, like, paano ba mag-cut cost, like, grabe yung theoretical knowledge niya, in, in terms of, tar- sa, sa, ano, sa field ng carpentry, in fact, na phd siya, PhD in carpentry, yun, yun si Carpenter A, tapos, si, si Carpenter B naman, si Carpenter B, ano, yung, yung theoretical knowledge niya when it comes to carpentry, eh, ganun lang, he, he knows it, no? Pero, no, hindi ganun ka, ano, Si Carpenter B, what he has going for him though, is mayroon kasi siya, may tito siya, may tito siya, yung tito niya, ano, head carpenter yung tito niya. Tapos, head carpenter, tapos sinasama siya sa gigs. So, so like, sabihin natin, like, may, may construction gig, sinasama si Carpenter B para, like, assistant ba? Assistant. Assistant. So, tapos, they build houses, they build chairs, eventually, si Carpenter B, nag, parang, Nagigets niya ba? Nagigets niya how to build houses from yung paulit-ulit na gigs nila, di ba? Like, ang dami nilang gigs, that eventually, parang may idea na siya how to build a house on his own. Pero silang dalawa, si Carpenter 8, si Carpenter B, they've never built a house on their own. 
in fact, first time nila to. Now, ikaw, ikaw yung, let's say you're, you were in my position, who would you have? Sige nga, chat, chat, I want to see. Lagay niyo sa chat, A or B? Oh, may dalawang B. Dalawa lang? Dalawa? Sige, sige. Type, type, A or B. Hopefully. Okay. Actually, this one I was really concerned because I did not know how many viewers were watching. I, again, I forgot. I, I in my screen, in my defense, I remember because this is not my screen. This is the screen of the the one recording. Right? It's not my, my laptop. I remember seeing this the, the number of viewers here, right? And I remember there was like a few of them. And I was like, I was really concerned. Like, I did not know how many were watching. So I was like, maybe it's just five, <laughs> ten, ten maybe. <laughs> and how many of them are actually listening? So yeah. <laughs> this was like a gamble for me asking a question, right? Because <laughs> if this was like offline, you can see, you can see the number of people, right? You can see the number of people. Uh, you can see if like they're part actively participating. But like, again, in an online setting, what I see is just my camera and my monitor. I don't see anything else. <laughs> this is like one of my, I guess, again, like, I guess the, how do you say, like disadvantages of like online talk. And yeah, that's why I wanna, I wanna actually like do like a proper talk, like an offline talk, because I think I could make the talk more engaging. <laughs> this is what I was like, I remember, I was like, oh sheesh, oh sheesh. <laughs> like, we're, are people actually listening? <laughs> yeah, it was a gamble for me, but I'm glad. I'm glad that people are actually listening. The kids are kids are no okay. They're not kids. They're university students. I'm glad they were listening. Okay, <laughs> they were participating. Okay. Yung nakita ko is mostly B. Then it's attack. Then it's attack. They're looking for someone skilled. What does skills, what does being skilled even mean? What does, being, what does skills even mean? So, yun, so before natin ma, ma answer yung question na yun, na what the hell are these skills na inahanap, pinatry na hanapin, tingnan mo natin how tech interviews are structured. Wait lang ha? <laughs> yeah, well, well, I remember, even though I was like, Speaking for like 20 minutes, right? Yeah, my, my throat was dry. My lips was dry. I remember that because I think part of it is the nerves. Yeah, the nerves. And me drinking water, I was able to pause. I was able to pause, calm myself down, and then reset. Because yeah, it's more like sometimes you get caught uh, on pace. And like sometimes you get like, how, how do you say it? Like, like, for example, if the pace is too fast, like you, you tend to forget to like keep your own pace or something like that. And yeah, me drinking water, like I was able to like kind of pause, reset, and then continue. Yeah, I think the water helps. Water helps a lot. I think if if I were to have a talk, like I, I've seen this a lot in like talks on YouTube, they usually have a water bottle lying around somewhere, and during the middle of the talk, they actually drink water. So I was like. I just tried to mimic that. So I was like, I just put my water bottle here. If I ever feel like I need to drink water, I don't care. I don't care where in the talk, where, which part of the talk I am, I'm gonna drink water. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I did. Yeah. And it kind of breaks the flow of the, the talk, but at the same time, I, I feel like for the speaker, it's important to rehydrate yourself, yeah. How tech interviews are structured? Because, di ba, itong companies na to, they have like multiple applicants. Tapos, isa lang yung hinahanap nila, right? Mostly isa lang. So, kailangan nila ng way to filter out candidates. Kailangan nila, yun. So, they have like tech interviews to do that for them. Para pagdating sa final interview, instead of like 1,000, mga sabihin natin, dalawa na lang or tatlo yung pipiliin nila. Di ba? So, it's easier to choose. So, they use tech interviews to, to filter candidates. Tapos tingin natin how it's structured para malaman natin what the hell are they even looking for, di ba? <laughs> para magkaroon ba tayo ng idea, like what are they looking for? 
So yeah, the typical tech interview process starts with the initial interview. Yeah, initial interview, HR or recruiter. <laughs> and now, the typical questions na hopuhan ni dito, it's it's like, uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, what are your strengths and weaknesses? <laughs> Yun yung mga tipong questions na ano, na mahupuhan ni dito. This is easy to pass, don't worry. Madali lang to. Uh, yung advice ko lang sa inyo, sa initial interview, ano yung question sa inyo ng HR or ng recruiter? Remember nyo lang, punta kayo sa YouTube, lagay nyo doon, how to answer, tell me about yourself. <laughs> yun lang, yun lang. Tapos ulit-ulitin nyo lang yan, like whatever question they ask you, like punta lang kayo sa YouTube, yun. So, kaya madali lang itong ipas. Uh, yung mahirap is the technical interview. Ito yung meat grinder. Ito kayo babagsak. <laughs> In fact, ako, I failed a lot of this. Technical interview, kahit gaano ka pakagaling as a dev or as a as someone in the industry, like if you're not prepared. So, yung dalawa lang yan, technical interview, uh, it's one or the other. It's either live coding or project based. Don't worry, we expand ko to. Live coding. So, live coding, imagine ito. Imagine ito. Ito yung monitor ko. Right? Ito yung monitor ko. Ako yung applicant. Ako yung nag apply for job. Ako yung interview. Ito yung monitor ko. Nandito yung webcam ko. Nandito yung interviewer. Yung Ano, yung interviewer, nakatingin siya sa akin. Nakatingin siya sa akin via my webcam. Nakatingin siya sa akin. Nandito yung timer. At 10 minutes, may timer dito. Tapos, uh, nandito yung problem. Nasa, nasa gitna yung problem. Right? I have to solve that problem within the time limit. Sabi na yung 10 minutes. Tapos, binabasa ko yung problem and I'm seeing the timer. 9.59, 9.58, 9.57. And, tapos, nagtitry, nagtitry, nagtitry ko talaga, tinitinan ko yung problem. Nagtitry, nagtitry ko siyang intindihin. Nagtitry ko 8 minutes na lang. Eh, nagtitry talaga. Yun, yun yung, yun yung, live coding. <laughs> Nakakastress siya. It's very stressful. If hindi ka prepared, yeah, it's very stressful. So, yun, pero, again, this is not all bad. Kasi, yun yung con niya, it's very stressful, right? Pero yung pros niya, this type of interview is, sabihin natin 10 minutes yung binigay sa'yo na time, right? 10 minutes yung binigay sa'yo na time. Within that 10 minutes, may idea ka na whether or not you'll get to the next stage. Like for example, like may idea ka, like, oh shit, I think, I think, ano, I think I failed that. I think, I think I did badly. Or, I did well. <laughs> parang ganun. Yun, parang ganun. Like, within the 10 minutes, may idea ka na. So, like, mabilis yung feedback. So, like, you're stressed, yes, pero ang feedback ang bilis. Like, within 10 minutes, alam mo na agad if, ano, if, if mo masaka ba or hindi. Pero yung harder one, alternative is take-home exams. Mga take-home exams, mga project-based take-home assignments. So, ito naman, like, yung, yung interviewer, they will give you, like, a piece of paper, my, doc, my document, na nandun yung features na, na gusto nila. Like, my features, tapos kailangan mo mag-build ng app based sa specification na pinigay nila. Tapos, if they, they will give you like two weeks if they're generous. Two weeks. Uh, minsan, actually, mostly mga days lang. Pero, if, again, if the company is generous, they will usually give you longer, a longer time. Yung, alam niyo yung Gap Labs sa company? Uh, yung Gap Labs, they gave me two days. Two days lang pinigay nila. Grabe naman sila. No? <laughs> yun. Pero, yun, uh, yung, yun yung advantage nito is like it's less stressful. Di ba? Kasi like it's, if you do it at your own pace, tapos you can do it anytime. Di ba? Alas, ano siya? Chill ka lang, chill. Yung disadvantage lang nito, yung core nito is, let's say, you fail. Hindi ka pinapasa sa next stage. Tapos two weeks yung binigay sa'yo. Tapos it took you two weeks to, to make the, the thing, the, the, the app, di ba? It took you two weeks to make the project. You just wasted two weeks. You just wasted two weeks para lang mag-fail ka. Diba? Like, yung parang yun yung con nito. It's like, yes, less stressful siya, pero yung bagal ng feedback. Bagal yung malaman if ano. Kasi yung two weeks na yun, you could have interviewed to other companies, diba? Instead of building this app na pinapagawa nila. Yun. Typically, actually, no, hindi typically. Very rarely dito, very rarely, they will let you choose kung anong gusto mo. Either live coding ba or project-based. There are companies that will actually let you choose. But most of them, wala kang choice. Wala kang choice. Like, kung binigay sa'yo live coding, wala kang choice. Binigay sa'yo take home, wala kang choice. But again, very rarely, there are companies that they actually give you a choice. Yeah, so like, it's like a pick your poison kind of thing. <laughs> Gusto mo ba ng stress? 
pero mabilis yung feedback or gusto mo ba ng less stressful pero mabagal yung feedback. Sa inyo na yan. Tapos, let's say, again, pinasabasan ka ni Lord, tapos na sa technical interview, the hardest of them all. Yung, yung next step is usually the behavior. Optional lang to. May mga companies na nagbibigay ng behavioral, may mga companies na wala, depende ito sa company. Mm, dito naman, it's easy. <laughs> Madali lang din to. It's very unlikely you will fail this. Uh, pero yung requirement dito is kailangan decente ka na tao. Like if you're a decent human being, you know how to work in a team, di ba? Like, hindi, hindi malaki yung ulo mo ba? You're humble, you know how to work in a team. Uh, ano pa ba? You know how to communicate. Lalo na if, if my conflict, di ba, alam mo, like conflict resolution. Again, these are things that you, you can't really learn this overnight. You, it's more like character building talk sa'yo. Like if you're decent ka na tao, hindi ka mahihirapan dito. Pero yung mga, you know, may iba dyan, tapos na. <laughs> Good luck sa inyo. <laughs> Yun. Pero pag, again, pag decent ka na tao, this, this is easy. Uh, tapos yung last naman is final interview. Uh, sa final interview, this is actually my favorite. Ito yung, ito yung dito talaga ako ginaginahan sa final interview. Kasi dito kasi, ano, also dito yung, ano, yung highest position sa company. So like CEO, CTO, uh, technical lead, or... Oh, basta sila, VP of engineering. Sila yung kausap mo dito. Tapos ano lang to eh, conversational. This is so fun. <laughs> Kasi nag-uusap lang kayo, parang, parang nagkakape lang kayo ba? Tapos like, you're just... just Talking about life, talking about that. Parang ganun, it's like so, so chill. Uh, dito naman, dito sa final interview, they or, yung company, they already have an idea if they want to hire you or not. Okay? Like, back sa technical interview, back sa behavioral, initial interview, they already have an idea. Like, may idea na sila, like, what type of person you are, and then do they want to hire you? Kung ano ba, like, ano yung strengths man, weaknesses mo? So, sa final interview, yung hinahanap nila dito is like, ganito. And then you talk. Kasi diba, sa, sa, sa tech kasi, you can't work on it alone. You, there's a reason kung bakit people are forming companies, right? And they're forming teams. They're forming teams kasi yung mga problems yung natrend nilang isolve, mahirap. So they have to delegate tasks to people, right? So, yun. So, imagine na ganito yan. Like, isang company, para siyang puzzle. Puzzle yan. Puzzle, right? Instead the member ng company, it's like a puzzle piece. Puzzle piece, right? Puzzle piece yan. Kada member ng company, they're like doing something that completes the puzzle. Tapos, sa final interview, they're trying to see if ikaw, the applicant, fits yung puzzle nila. Okay? So, kung dito, if mag ever mag-fail ka sa final interview, okay lang yun. It's okay. You know why it's okay? Kasi, even if, sabihin natin, even if, even if mahal ka dito, and you don't fit the puzzle, you're gonna hate the job. You're gonna hate your job because the way you work is different from how they operate as a company. So important din to na na ano, na you have to really consider this na ano, like if cultural fit ka pa sa kanila. Like ako, uh, ako for example, yung di ba like if you've seen my work experience, yung preference ko are startups. So I prefer to work in small teams. I prefer yung preference ko is ano startup culture meaning flat structure. Flat structure. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng flat structure? So like, that, 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 QA, PM, mga positions ba? Tapos kami, directly namin, above sa amin, CTO agad. Yun yung flat structure. Kasi usually kasi sa mga, sa mga companies, once they get big, yun yung nangyayari kasi dyan is like CEO, CTO, VP of Engineering, tapos may tech lead, tapos may mga manager, 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 tapos ikaw nandito ka sa pita ko pa. <laughs> yun yung, yung nangyayari like sa mga malalaking companies. And ako, I don't want to work in those because I don't like bureaucracy. Because preferred ko yung uh, casual, yung informal, informal na parang like chill lang, very chill. Pwede kong mahausap yung CTO anytime, like, hey, CTO, hop tayo sa call. Parang ganun. <laughs> Hindi ka guys sa, sa mga big companies na like you need someone's permission to get the higher ups permission, na may permission, na may permission, na magkaano kayo, telephone game kayo. Yun. Again, it, it depends on the preference. So it's it, oh, that's just my preference. So that's why the mga hinahanap ko na companies are those that fit what I prefer. You get me, ba? Like, kaya sa final interview, if you've ever failed this, it's okay. It's okay. Then, tapos 
again, it's not basan than Lord. <laughs> you you pass the final interview, they will give you an offer. Your offer usually contract lang yan, tapos yung salary. No one really reads the contract. I don't read the contract. Nitinan ko lang bamis gaano kalaki yung bigay nila sa akin. <laughs> if you accept the offer, congratulations, may trabaho kayo. Yun lang naman, di ba? Parang eh, it's simple. <laughs> Simply tingnan, di ba? Like, once you play it later. Uh, pero, how do you say, typical interview process to, this doesn't apply to all companies. Ito yung average lang. May mga companies na anin yung steps before ka makabigyan ng offer. May mga companies na apat, may mga companies na dalawa. I'll give you an example. Yung first kuna internship, dice, six, six steps. Yung second internship ko, Eridify, dalawa lang, diretsyo na offer. Tapos yung current company ko, apat. Parang ganun, this depends on the company. Uh, just be prepared. Prepare, prep na lang sa technical prep, sa behavior. The late. Oh, plus yun. Why are tech interviews structured this way? <laughs> like, bakit, bakit ganun yung structure nila na dapat initial or the technical level? Yun, if we can answer this question, malalaman natin what they're looking for. So, they're looking for two things. Dalawa lang. Dalawa lang actually yung hinahanap nila. Hindi nila hinahanap yung ano. <laughs> Another water, right? They're looking for two things. Number one is problem solving. It's actually almost done already. I'm surprised that, you know, we're not halfway even. <laughs> but yeah, the talk is almost done. Maybe like a huge part of it is QA. and I don't remember. I actually don't remember. Yeah. That was how you communicate your solution. Number two is proof of skills. Don't worry. Okay, Magala, I'm going to expand on this too. So problem solving. Ano lang siya? So, solving a problem. <laughs> Solve ka ng problem. Uh, yung problem solving, sorry, the next slide ko. Don't worry, I'm gonna teach you guys how to develop this skill. So yung pinaka numero uno, like if you want to develop yung skills na problem solving that companies are looking for, in fact, ito yung core ng tech. Ito yung core ng tech, problem solving. Like people think na it's the technology na ginagamit mo. No, it's problem solving. Like if you can solve the problem without relying on tech, okay. Lang. What's important is you solve the problem. You get me, huh? Like, the tech is just a tool to solve the problem. Hindi siya yung core ng tech. Core of tech is problem solving. Yun. So, if you want to develop this skill, the numero uno talaga is stop relying on AI. So, don't worry, di naman ako anti AI. In fact, I use AI in the job. Pero like, di ako anti AI, okay? Uh, pero there's a reason why this is numero uno. Uh, let's say, for example, di ba students kayo? Yung professor niyo, they're gonna give you a problem. But ikaw, student ka, right? Student, you want to get an A. Di ba? Gusto mo nang, ano, mataas na grade. So, binigay ka ng problem ng professor mo. Instinct mo is to like, copy the problem, paste kay ChatGPT. ChatGPT generates the thing. Tapos yun, may, may solution na binigay si ChatGPT. Ano yung gagawin ng student? Kukunin niya yung solution, pa-paraphrase niya. Actually, pa-paraphrase niya yun, tapos bibigay niya kay professor. Tapos professor gives back an A. Di ba? Kasi nasolve niya yung problem. Nasolve niya yung problem. Tapos yun. So, yung professor niya man, uh, they give another problem. They give another problem sa student. Yung student, yung instinct niya, again, gusto niya mag mataas yung grade niya. So, yung ginawa niya, again, is ChatGPT. ChatGPT generates the solution. You know, I don't know, before they copy, paraphrase mo na. Yung paraphrase solution na generate ni, ni ChatGPT, you know, bibigyan niya ka professor, and professor gives an A. You know, they're not addict to, kasi ano eh, they're not addict yung ano, experience niya, because like, you're, get, you're getting how you're in. So, yung question ko ngayon, sino yung, sino sa dalawa, yung student, yung, or yung AI, yung nade-develop yung problem-solving skills. Sino yung nagsasolve ng problem? Di ba? Like AI. Di ba? Ang dami nagsasolve AI. Yeah, it's more, yung, yung, your, ikaw student, you're training the, the AI to be better at solving problems. But ikaw, nga nga. Why? Because you're not, you're not trying to develop the skill. Di ba? Yeah. Yun, kaya, if you wanna develop problem-solving skills, you have to do it yourself. Ikaw, you have to, ikaw mismo yung try mo yung problem. But 
Okay? No worries. I'm gonna teach you guys. I'm gonna teach you guys. Okay? I'll show you my gala. So, problem solving, it's hard. Mahirap yung problem solving, okay? But it's only hard if and only if first time mo nakita yung problem. First time mo siya tinra iso. Okay? What does this mean? Like, pag nakita mo na kasi yung problem before, tapos alam mo na yung pattern to solve these types of problems, intuitive to eh, intuitive. Makikita mo lang yung problem, alam mo na agad yung solution. Pero like, again, if first time mo pa nakita yung problem, mahihirapan ka. And that's okay. Ito lang yung ito ko lang sabihin. It's okay na mahirapan kayo pag makita niyo yung problem. First time yung makita. It's okay. That's completely normal. Okay? Hindi dahil bobo kayo. Okay? Hindi dahil na whatever thing na yung brain mo tries to trick you into thinking, hindi dahil doon. The, the reason kung bakit nahihirapan kayo kasi first time nyo nakita tong problem na to. You get it? Like, makita niyo yung classmate niyo na na binigyan, binigyan kayo ng problem ng professor. Yung classmate niyo, boom, instant, na-solve niyo. Ikaw, ikaw, Well, ang, ang galing niya, genius yung classmate ko. Ako, parang bobo ko, parang hindi ko nasal bagad. Yan, again, it's not because genius yung classmate mo. It's not because bobo ka. It's because first time mo nakita yung problem na ka. Don't worry, again, <laughs> tuturo ko sa inyo how to develop problem solving skills. So how do you develop problem solving skills? Number one, kuha lang kayo ng problem for a specific topic. Find yourself. Ganyan yun ang time, 10-20 minutes. Try nyo yung solving problem. Actually, try it yourself. But this is the important one. If hindi nyo na-solve yung problem, tingnan nyo yung solution. Tingnan nyo yung solution or punta kayo sa YouTube, itingnan nyo how other people solve it. Like yung walkthrough, i-walkthrough nila paano nila sinolve yun. Tingnan nyo yung solution. Try to understand the solution. Okay? Do not, ito, importante ito, huwag nyo i-memorize yung solution. Can you answer? Why does this solution solve the problem? This is like the most important bit. The next one: What is the pattern for solving this type of problems? Pattern, toh? Pattern. What does this mean? Like, this pattern, this, hindi mo to magagawa the first time you do it. Like, di ba you try for step one, step two, step three, step four? Hindi niyo madedevelop yung pattern recognition skills niyo to solve these types of problems on the first try. Because the brain niyo kasi trying to train your brain into seeing yung mga type nitong specific topic, yung mga problems on this specific topic. You're trying to train your brain to see these problems, tapos yung mga solutions, how this, yung solutions, how to, ano ba nila nasa-solve yung mga topics na to? You're trying to train yung brain nyo. So, kailangan nito ulit-ulitin. Kasi you have to give your brain time to see the patterns. Hindi mo to ma, again, hindi mo to ma-develop in the first try, you have to do it again and then again and again. Pag nasanay na yung brain nyo, I'm gonna tell you guys, it, it's like magical. Magical yung mga yari, guys. Like, makita niyo yung problem, and you're like, I know this. Ang puto. Boom! Instant! <laughs> alam niyo na agad. <laughs> di, like, even di niyo pa nasulat yung solution, alam niyo na agad, like, how to solve it. Ganun yan. Like, if your brain can see the pattern, well, actually, mag, like, this problem na nahihirapan kayo, mag, magdali na lang pala to. So, so yeah, step five. Find a different problem, same topic, go back to step two. Diba? Step two, ano step two? Try to solve the problem. Ulit, ulitin nyo lang ito. So, ano ba itong mga problems na ito? Like, <clears throat> usually, yung pinakamadali ito is DS, data structures. Like, for example, arrays, nahihirapan kayo sa arrays, nahihirapan kayo mag-solve ng mga problems related to arrays, do this until maging intuitive siya, maging intuitive siya, Makita niyo yung problem about arrays, boom, instant. Alam niyo na agad yung solution. Nahirapan kayo sa recursion. Spain, do this. Do this. Nahirapan kayo sa dynamic programming, sa, sa trees. Do this. Ganun lang yan. The thing about problem solving kasi, like yung mga complex na problems, usually yun yung mga ginagawa sa work. It's complex problems. Or like yung mga complex problems kasi, it's just combination lang siya ng mga simple problem, simple problem, simple problem, simple problem, simple problem. If you know how to solve the simple problem, alam naman paano isolve the simple problem. Yung simple problem, the simple problem. Itong complex problem na to is easy. Kasi alam mo how to solve yung mga simple problems that consist this complex problem. So, kaya 
sa, sa, sa ano, like how do you develop this mag-mag, yung pinakana talaga dito is yung DS, Data Structure Foundation to ng Computer Science. Like, halos lahat ng problems, you can solve it via DS, Data Structures. Mga simple stuff, yung, yung simple stuff like arrays, recursions, yun yung mga basic stuff, right? Yun yung foundation for intermediate stuff, like trees, tries, tapos foundation ng mga complex stuff pa, like yung mga graphs na, yung mga <laughs> ganun. Yeah, pero like, you have to start somewhere. Tapos yung mga simple problems, hindi kayo magsisimula. Unless, din, unless madali sa inyo yung, yung mga simple problems, if, hindi kayo, hindi nyo masasolve yung intermediate problems. Nagigets nyo ba? Kasi yung intermediate problems, it's just a combination of simple problems. As yung mga complex problems, it's just a combination of intermediate and simple problems. Yun lang naman. So like, that's why it's very important to develop the skill of problem solving simple problems. So yung recommended resources, again, don't worry. <laughs> Guys, di naman ako gahaman. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, water break. <laughs> recommended resources to develop this neat code. So neat code, meron dun roadmap. Ah, grabe, ang laking tulong nito. Actually, use this to prep for technical interviews. Yun, may, may roadmap dun. Start ka sa arrays, tapos eventually, punta ka sa dynamic programming, eventually sa recursions, eventually sa trees. Pero may, ano siya, may actual roadmap. May ma-follow ka ba? Tapos sundin nyo lang yun. And then, ayun lang, sundin nyo lang yun. Pero yung, yung issue ko lang sa neat code kasi ano, minsan kulang yung problems na and then, kulang yung problem, so hindi siya, ba, hindi siya enough para magets ng brain mo sometimes. Kasi hindi siya enough. So, pwede, pwede rin kayo mapunta sa lead code. It's like, for example, nahihirapan kayo sa dynamic programming. Tapos kulang yung question sa lead code. Kunin nyo lang yung dynamic programming, right? Punta kayo sa lead code, search kayo by tag, dynamic programming, tapos kunin nyo yung problem, and then repeat nyo lang. Diba? Try to solve the problem, kundi nyo masolve, look at the solution. Ulit-ulitin nyo lang until maging intuitive siya. And that is problem solved. <laughs> diba? Hindi naman siya ganun ka. No? Like, yeah, people like to think that it's hard, but it's, it's, it's not that hard. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, ito naman, this is an equally important skill sa so problem solving. Diba? Nakita kanina na, like, diba they're looking for two things, problem solving, how you communicate the solution, and it's like on the same level. Kasi they're equally yeah. important. Uh, itong communicating solution, it, it, this is really important. They're trying to, yung mga companies, ano to, like, hinahanap talaga nila to. Like, yes, magaling ka mag-solve ng problems, but you also know how to, how to communicate, like, paano mo na-solve yung problem. Uh, typically, kasi sa tech, di ba, sa, 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 sa mga, <clears throat> the reason na may companies, di ba, they're building teams, you're not working alone. Kasi yung mga problems are complex. The problems are complex. So, let's say, for example, take out dev ka, and then merong product manager. You're trying to talk sa product manager. Yung product manager, they're non-technical. Hindi sila technical na mga tao. Yung job ng product manager is to gather requirements of clients, sa so users, gather sila ng requirements, tapos yung requirements, they will prepare a doc, tapos ibibigyan nila yun sa dev. Tapos yung dev, yung trabaho ng dev, alam niyo yung trabaho ng dev, is to say, this is shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi to possible. <laughs> this is not possible. But you can't say that. So, so product manager, you can't say that. You have to be able to communicate bakit mo na isip na shit yung requirements. And then, not only that, you also have to be able to communicate to offer an alternative solution. As you're talking to someone non-technical, so you have to watch your language. Hindi mo pwedeng, hindi ka pwedeng mag, ano, ng mga theory stuff, anything related to tech, hindi ka pwedeng, hindi mo, like, you have to use simple English. Kumbaga. And this is like a skill. This is a skill na hinahanap talaga ng companies kasi this is like what you're actually doing on the job. Tapos hindi lang, hindi lang, ano, hindi lang product managers like that. Okay, that's a non-technical person. But what if you're talking to someone technical? Diba? You're talking to someone technical. Let's say that ka, I'm sorry, like I'm giving examples na puro dev. Dev kasi ako, so like I don't know the experience of other, yung ibang, ibang, ano, ibang as industry. But, kasi dev ka, uh, matagal ka na sa company. Like you have like, let's say one year, two years, matagal ka na sa company. Tapos, Actually so, enjoying my talk. <laughs> may familiar yung system na ginagawa nyo kasi you've been working on it for a while. Tapos may papasok na bagong hire. Like intern. 
intern, junior dev, like bagu pa sila. Like they've never seen the system. They've never worked on it, right? So, may tinatawag na onboarding process sa, 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 sa tech. Onboarding process is tinatransfer mo yung alam mo to the people na hindi gaano, hindi nila gaano alam, hindi nila gets yung system. Like you cannot tell them the nitty gritty stuff. Hindi mo pwedeng gawin yun. Hindi nila maintindihan, hindi nila magigets kasi wala silang background dun. So, yung skill na to, like you have to develop the skill of breaking down complex things into simple, digestible, simple English, ha? simple English to someone na, yes, technical sila, pero you have to think as if na wala silang alam. Like, wala talaga silang alam, wala silang background. Yun. And this is like what they're looking for. Uh, interviews. Like, even na nakita nyo, like, napansin nyo, initial interview is HR recruiter. Initial interview is non-technical people. Pinatas agad nila, initial interview pa lang, how you communicate with someone while na walang idea sa technical interview. You're talking with someone, technical. You interviewer, dev, usually dev din sila. Di ba? That was behavioral interview. Again, you're talking to someone non-technical. Usually, kaos na monito HR ulit. That was, that is the final interview, you're talking to the CTO. Someone na, that can see the bigger picture. So they're both technical. Actually, yung technical knowledge na grabe, pero like they're also thinking about the business side. So yun, like ito yung hinahanap nila, how you communicate yung, yung thought process mo. But don't worry, again, I'm going to show you guys how to develop a skill. Uh, number one, it's the same sa kanina, problem solving. Get a problem for a specific topic. Get a camera and record yourself. Yes, you got to right, get what used to it. Right and then verbalize your thought process. And then repeat. Ay, wala, wala kang choice. <laughs> like if you want to improve on it, then wala kang choice to do it repeatedly until masanay ka. So, ako, what did I do to develop this skill? I did Twitch. And di ko naman sinasabi na you, should, you guys should do Twitch. Pero just be creative. Be creative on paano nyo to, paano mo na-develop ang skill na to. So the thing about Twitch, kasi parang siya YouTube. Di ba? YouTube is like, gagawa ka ng video, pero usually recorded kasi, tapos in-edit mo yung videos. Pero yung Twitch, it's live. Everything is live. Nagla-live code ako sa Twitch, and I'm talking while I'm coding. Tapos may camera. And I just do that. And ako ngayon, mga uh, more than 80 na ata ako, 80 streams na ako. <laughs> more than 80 na ako. So like, that's why, nakikita nyo, like, I'm, I'm quite comfortable with a camera on me. Kasi I've been doing this for so long. Yun. Like, this will be hard the first time, of course. Like, any skill, it's hard the first time. Like, it's very uncomfortable. Pero, just do it. Again, repeat, repeat, repeat. I-train nyo lang yung brain nyo na masanay. That your brain nyo will, ultimately, like, once you do it enough, your brain will think it's normal. It's like the most normal thing. It's like breathing. <laughs> like, once you've done it enough. Yun lang naman. So, yun. How to develop a skill. Uh, yun. Tapos, this is like the second thing companies are looking for, proof of skills. Proof of skills, di ba? Like, nasabi ko kanina, tech is a skill-based company. So, kung napansin nyo kanina, uh, di ba, si, si Carpenter Cain. It's a skill-based company. <laughs> yes, I can manage siya. Kaya wala siyang proof. Oh, skills siya. Si Carpenter B, very, konti lang yung theoretical knowledge niya. Yung proof niya is yung experience niya. Because he's done it before. And nagawa niya, na-prove niya na kaya niyang gawin. Yun? So, pero, what if you lack work experience? So, if you lack work experience, yung proof of skills mo are personal projects. So, let's say, for example, ano, pwede, like, again, depende ito sa, sa strategy niyo. May, May mga kilala ko na devs na may, strat may strategy talaga sila. Like for example, gusto mo, mag gusto mo makapasok sa company na e-commerce. E-commerce application. Like let's say Lazada. Gusto mo makapasok sa Amazon. If ikaw yung Amazon, di ba, you're more likely to hire someone na nakabuild na ng e-commerce apps. Nagigat siya, like, kung nakalagay dun sa resume mo, puro e-commerce apps, tinarget mo ba yung e-commerce na market? Di ba, mas malaki yung chance na makuha ka nila. 
Tapos, if, for example, a search engine, di ba, like, paano mo masak sa Google, like, then build ka ng mga stuff related sa kung ano yung tinatry nilang i-work. Di ba, like, again, depende ito sa strategy nyo. Pero companies are more likely to hire someone na may experience na sa kung ano yung yung ginagawa nila. Like, kung Netflix, it's more like if nakag-work ka na sa mga anything related sa video, video codec, streaming, yun, mga ganun. Yun, pero, like, uh, okay, next slide. Sorry, nawala yung talk process ko. Uh, the next slide, following tutorials is not equal to projects, okay? Yung, let's say, for example, my YouTube video, like, six hours, nakalagay doon, how to build an e-commerce app. Tapos ikaw, nagko-code ka lang, pinafollow mo yung tutorials, after six hours, may e-commerce app ka. It's not equal to a project, okay? Actually, pag nandun ka sa interview, it's so easy. Yung, yung mga interviewers, they will just roll their eyes. They roll nila yung mata nila, kasi it's obvious, it's so obvious. They will just, ipoprobe ka lang kasi nila nito eh, ipoprobe ka lang nila, like they will ask you about the project. Kasi you, pag hindi kasi ikaw yung gumawa mismo ng project, like it's easy to tell. If ikaw ba talaga yung gumawa, or did you just follow a tutorial, or pinuhat ka ba ng team member mo? So, yun, yun lang naman, like reminder ko lang sa inyo na, if you want, yung projects na kailangan nyo i-build are projects you build yourself, okay? Yun yung mga ilalagay nyo sa resume nyo. Uh, kasi, they actually do ask, ask you, pag nilagay nyo sa resume nyo, they will ask you about it. Anything na, anything na ilagay nyo sa resume nyo, it's fair game. Pag naglagay ka dun ng OOP, they will ask you about OOP, object-oriented program. Kaya, kaya, sa resume ko, walang OOP. <laughs> walang OOP sa resume ko kasi they don't, I don't want them to ask me about it. <laughs> like, yeah, depending on the yes, strategy nyo, like, you can, uh, you can uh, tailor your resume para ma-expect mo ba yung questions na i-ask nila. Kasi yung i-ask nila na questions is usually kung, kung ano yung nasa resume nyo. Ilagay mo yung project yung sa resume nyo, nag-follow pa lang ng tutorial, GG ka. Yun lang yung magsabi ko, GG game well played yun so why do we build projects simplify lang natin why build projects number one is to learn something so kung may gusto kang aralin let's say for example aws gusto mong mag-aral gusto mong maging cloud engineer you want to learn aws so how do you learn aws you do isolated learning you build a project a lot of people aws lang i do not expect a lot of people do not try to learn everything at once. Wag niyo, wag kayong gumawa ng project na AWS, as my Azure, as my uh, Jenkins, as my ano pa ba? Like Circle CI. Like no, no, don't do that. If you're gonna build something to learn, just build a project, a simple project, as yung specific na technology niyo lang na gusto to learn. Just a little little niyo lang yun. Build, like the more you do it, again, the more na, na you build something, na the more na masane ka, right? Magiging second nature na lang. Anything building with AWS, sabi natin, madali na lang yun. So now you can start learning other things. Let's say, for example, you want to learn Django. You want to learn Django. So yung gagawin mo, like, again, isolated learning, yung main thing na technology na, na sa, sa ginagawa mo is just Django. Pero alam mo na yung AWS, because you've learned it before. You've done isolated learning sa AWS. So pwede mong ilagay yung AWS while well, you're learning Django. You know why? Kasi you're not learning AWS. Diba? nag add ka lang ng complexity sa app mo, pero you're not learning two things at once. You're actually just learning Django. You get me, but it's just like how you learn to develop the skills to build complex apps. Kasi yung mga complex apps, ang dami kasi may, may lalagay ka pa ng database, maglalagay ang Postgres or MongoDB, di ba? Is meron pa what authentication yung gagamitin mo, like mag-JWT ka ba or whatever. Di ba? Like, ang daming, ang daming things na kailangan mong i-learn. The mistake talaga that people do is they build something complex start from the start. I'm like, no, wala kang matututunan. Mahihirapan ka lang. You'll just be confused. You're, you're not helping yourself. Kumbaga, like, if you want to learn things and learn it efficiently, learn one thing at a time. So, give, give, begin with an example. Ito yung example projects ko, like Life in Weeks. The reason I built this thing is like very simple. Very simple lang to na aside. The reason I built this, kasi gusto ko mag-practice ng TypeScript. That's it. It's a, punta kayo sa project na to, you will see it's just TypeScript. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. 
I built this site, uh, API talk in Go 50, but it's an API. And the reason I built this, I said during this time I was learning Go. So while I was building the project, the documentation is that nandito sa ibang tab, nandito yung VS Code for, or yung editor for, sorry, nandito yung documentation. So like I'm building this thing, pinabasa ko yung documentation while learning, and I'm only, I'm only learning one thing. And it's like so efficient. Like, ang bilis nung matuto pag ganun nang ginawa niyo. Yun. Uh, another one, why build projects is to solve a problem. Diba yung core ng um, tech is problem solving. So, think of a problem that you have and try to build something that solves that problem. Ito yung meat. Na, ito yung meat talaga ng resume niyo. Like, yung resume niyo, if you have a project, that solves a problem, mapupunta agad siya sa mataas, sa, 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 sa ano ba, sa top na maybe i-hire nila. This is what companies are looking for. If kaya mong maka-build ng projects that can solve problems. And it, it doesn't have to be complex. Again, it doesn't have to be complex. Yung, as long as it's a problem that you have, like I'll give you guys an example. Merong couple, mag-asawa na devs, may familia sila, may mag-asawa sila na dev, tapos, Yung problem nila is, ano, mahirap i-maintain yung friends nila, yung friend group nila. Mahirap, mahirap ba makipag-meet? Kasi di ba, like, pag adults na kasi kayo, ngayon, you're in university, so like, it's easy to meet people. You have a reason for to meet, di ba? Kasi, like, you study kayo, tas, like, punta kayo sa isang place, which is the university, tas dun kayo nag-meet, right? Pero pag adults na kasi kayo, you don't really have a reason to meet people anymore. Kasi like, you're busy with work, you're busy with life, you're busy with adulting, you're busy, kung may pamilya ka na, you're busy with kids, family mo, yung wife mo, or yung husband mo, right? So like, wala kang time. Wala kang time to meet other people. Wala, like, it's harder to, to meet people. It's even harder to maintain. Kung my friends group ka man, it's really hard to maintain yung friends mo. Ganun yun pag, ano, yun yung problem nila, yung couple na yun, dalawang couple, dalawa silang devs, yun yung problem nila. So what they did was they built an app scheduling app so scheduling app so parang itong app na to you create an event tapos pagkatapos mag create ng event ino notify yung friends nila kung gusto ba nilang sumama sa event like say, for example birthday party ng anak ko right tapos ino notify yung mga yung mga friend yung friends nila tapos yung friends nila has a choice to say yes or no tapos kung yes dun sila if no then. tapos kung malapit na yung event Ino notify ulit yung mga friend, yung mga nagsabi ng yes, ino notify ulit sila. Hey, bukas na yung event or mamaya yung event, di ba? Like it's like yung yung build nila, it's so simple. Like it's solving problem and it's solving like one very specific problem. Na yun na ihirapan sila. And it's like a problem that they have. Because if you think about yung mga yung mga apps ngayon, you think about like yung mga famous apps ngayon. Like let's say for example, uh, YouTube, di ba? The core of YouTube, if you think about it, ano pa yung tinatry isolve na problem na YouTube? Like, why is YouTube even built? Diba? Why, kita, bakit tayo as users are using YouTube? Diba? They, they're trying to solve something. Tapos they've solved it, kaya we're using it. And the same thing, Facebook, what are they trying to solve? <laughs> well, why are people using Facebook? Diba? So like, yun. Like, ito yung hinahanap ng companies kasi this is what they're doing. <laughs> they're building some things, they're building things that solves people's problems and you know because it's solving a problem people pay for it so you know man like if you again if you have this if you have this direct show like i know like preferred kagad ng company and yung isa pa is like if yung app mo has users if yung app mo my users oh my god yun <laughs> yun talaga yung hinahanap ng companies like if you can build an app na magkakaroon ng users. I'm telling you, that thing is so hard. Even now, hindi ko pa na-achieve yan. Actually, actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure kung may na-build na ba ako ng my users. Pero, it's so hard to do that. Pero, you know what's even harder? What's even harder na if you really wanna impress yung mga companies, you really wanna impress them, build something with users and scale it. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng scale? It means na you have a lot of users. Like, a thousand users is very different from a million users. 
like your complexity no upmo is like very different if you can build something na may ganun karaming users yeah derecho like immediate high like, i know na may may isang ano may isang ano student pa lang siya student pa lang siya tapos wala siyang wala siyang degree high school pa lang siya high school oh no this thing got you know, apple you no know, the iPhone, uh, but the no. iPhone was shit. It was shit. <laughs> like, para sa kanya, like, so he built something that's better than the, than the yung gallery viewer, yung photo viewer ba ng Apple. And then, and then pinublish niya sa App Store, and then people used it. And actually, a lot of people used it. Na instant hire siya. <laughs> instant hire, like, no interview. Like, this is like what they're looking for. Kasi, pag magawa mo yun, like, yeah, you've done something that other devs like, are like, struggling to do. Mahirap siya. Yun. Uh, example lang ito, ito, like, if you're curious about the problem na na-try ko so you can look at this project. Pero yun, yun naman, build projects. Why do you build projects? To learn something or to solve a problem. Alam ko ngayon, like, you guys will not, probably will not have a problem na gusto niyong isolve. I've been, na-experience ko na yan na, na like, ano yung, Wala naman ang problema eh. Wala naman ang problema. So like, if if you're struggling to find a problem that you're trying to solve, that's okay. Don't force it. Don't force it. Mangy- uh, at some point, na uh, the more experience you have, the more nyo na makikita yung mga problems na to. But now, you can focus on just uh, building stuff to learn. You can focus like, dun na muna kayo. Like, until you can find a problem, na problem yun talaga, and you feel strongly about it, you can focus on building projects to learn. Yung, yung, the long internships, two internships ko, yung mga projects na binilid ko is just to learn. Tapos nakuha naman ako. So like, yeah. Yung importante lang talaga is you have projects. Kasi yung projects mo are proof of skills. Like, kung alam nyo lang, yung first resume ko, yung first resume ko, nakalagay dun sa work experience, di ba? Like, Work experience, puro lang yung projects. Yung nilagay ko. I'm not even joking. Tapos sa interview, yun lang yung pinag-usapan namin. Yung projects na ginawa ko. And because I built those projects myself, I was able to defend it. Diba? I was able to talk about yung mga, ano yung stuff na nahirapan ako, ano yung stuff na, that excited, that excites me. Diba? Yung mga stuff na I've learned, why did I use this technology? Yun yung pinaprobe nila eh. Like, if you've actually built the thing yourself, and it, yung, yeah, yun. <laughs> Tapos recommended resources is just GitHub. Ayaw mo ng GitHub, uh, there's GitLab, there's Bitbucket, meron din Gogs, pero just use GitHub, yun yung default. As ito, reminder, like last reminder ko na to sa inyo, stick to learning one programming language for at least six months. Ano kasi, sa YouTube kasi, like, if you go to YouTube, tapos okay, mag-search kayo ng videos about like learning a language, Diba, meron dun, like, learn C++ in 6 hours, learn JavaScript in 4 hours. And I'm like, gets ko naman, like, why those videos exist. Diba, like, maybe, maybe, like, eh, ganun lang tao you can learn the syntax. But, like, actually learning the language, nah, nah, no way in hell na kaya mo yung malearn in 6, months, uh, in six hours. So, 6 months is the Goldilocks zone. Like, in prank, you learn enough, you know enough, yung basics ng programming language. Like, by this point, ano na to eh? Pag umabot ka kasi sa point na to, uh, you can code in that language without thinking about the syntax. Kasi matagal na eh. Like, ilang, ilang projects ka nito? Six months? Ilang projects yung magagawa mo nyan? Diba? Like, if you're building, let's say, a new project every two weeks, diba? Like, every two weeks may bago kang project, diba? So, like, ilang projects na yung magagawa mo nyan? Like, maraming yung projects yung magagawa, like, within six months. Tapos, pag, yun yung, ano, like, Stick to learning one. Again, huwag niyong i... i pag, try nyo kasi kayong mag-learn ng multiple programming language. Like, for example, try nyo mag-learn JavaScript ngayon. Week na to. Week one, JavaScript. Week two, Java. Week three, Python. Good luck. Ma, 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 GG yung brain nyo. <laughs> like, you're trying to... Again, you're trying to learn a lot of things at once. Don't do that. Wala kayong matututunan. But, pag nandun kayo sa technical interview, yung mangyayari niyan is... Uh, di ba, yung sa live coding part? May problem dito, tapos yung tala-try nyo mag-solve ng problem, tapos yung nasulat nyo na, like yung language na ginamit nyo, sabihin natin is JavaScript. 
pero yung nasulat nyo na syntax is Java. Yun yung mangyayari. Your brain will be confused. So like, if you want, again, give give yung brain more time to take in the information. A programming language, like learning one is like, it's complex. So like, uh, mga six months to a year, maybe two years, mga, mga ganun, by this point, you can consider yourself uh, intermediate na. Ano ba yung intermediate programmer? So, an intermediate programmer on a specific language, like sabi ng intermediate Python dev, kaya nilang mag-work on any project na wala silang background and they can contribute. Like for example, yung nangyari saan, like for example, second internship ko is a fintech company. Fintech. Wala akong knowledge about finance. Pagpasok ko dun, nang ako. Nang Like I, like, wala. Sorry, may nag ng hand. <laughs> Was that an accident lang? Okay, maybe accident lang. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, yun. yun. Di ba, wala kang knowledge sa, sa finance. Pero, because familiar ako sa Python, the, the language that they were using sa company na yan, familiar ako sa Django, I built so many projects using Django. Yun yung stack nila, Django, Django Rest, Django FSM, Polymorphism, Django Polymorphism, yun yung stack nila uh, sa Eridify. Familiar ako sa tech part. Most of my time, ginamit ko to learn the field, the pin, finance part. And I was doing okay, di ba? I was able, yung onboarding process ko was just one week. Walang training, no training, one week. Bam. After one week, ano na, I was already pushing code to production. Production ready na yung code ko. Kasi again, like yung tech side, alam ko na. Yung, yung mahirap na lang is yung field. Yun yung ano, like, imagine if nandun ka sa field tapos hindi mo alam yung tech part, tapos hindi mo rin alam yung field. Diba like, ma, ma, again, malilito yung brain mo. So, yun yung advantage of like sticking to learning one language. It's like, as long as alam, like, as long as they're working on that language, you can work any field, any field. Yeah. Tapos yung mastery naman, sinatawag nilang mga masters of the programming language, it takes you like maybe a decade, more than a decade. Uh, pag master ka na kasi, this is, ito na yung tipo na you're so good at the language na you're, you can actually contribute sa language itself. Like, yung Python na language, you can actually contribute sa Python. Like, yung, give features to fix bugs the Python na language itself. Yun yung mastery, like you know so much about the language that you can actually, you know, pero, yeah. Yun lang naman. Uh, yeah. So, the question is like, just focus on like, learning like, a language and then stick to it for six months. Yung specialization na part, uh, you can figure it out in the future. Yung sa akin, it took me, Yung first internship ko, we were using PHP Laravel. The first internship ko, doon ko na-realize how much I hate PHP. I'm sorry guys, I really did not like the experience of using PHP. Doon na ako nag-decide, I think gusto ko maging Python dev. Tapos nag-focus na ako sa Python. Yun. As, until today, I'm still using Python. Yun. Yun. That's our resources that helped me prep for this talk. Uh, yun public speaking stuff uh, then yeah, I I'm curious how to I recommend these two resources speak. I really so, recommend I really recommend these videos like it really helped me someone who's like really bad at public where to speaking find me. Well, I'm, social. I'm looking at my video right now and I'm like I'm doing okay I'm actually doing okay I'm like I was really concerned maybe I was speaking too fast maybe I was mumbling my words but right now I can it's actually coherent I can actually hear the words I can I can kind of understand what i'm trying to say and yeah I mean, i'm just happy i'm just happy right now that it was not as bad as i thought it was no i actually did not think it was bad it was like but i was concerned okay <laughs> you know you're like cringing and concerned but right now i'm not feeling the cringe it's like oh i don't know but like for some reason i'm not feeling the cringe I'm very comfortable watching as you can see i i was just watching i was not not even pausing right i was just watching and 
I'm just enjoying the talk that I made. I'm just happy for myself. I'm happy of my past self that he was able to do it. I'm proud of him. <laughs> positive talk, positive pep talk, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have no LinkedIn. If you search my name on the internet, you will not find me. <laughs> so you can find me at GitHub. Tapos may Twitch ako. I do live coding on Twitch. Tapos cafes around the club. And I really like coffee helping. Tapos cafes outside the club. Ah, uh, ito yung ano? Recommended ko talaga na cafe. Cafe dan Colosa. Yes. Ano yun? Tawag nito? Correctly priced. Dito kasi sa club and overpriced. Sa cafe dan correctly priced. Ang sarap ng food daw, ang sarap ng coffee, and it's so cute. <laughs> Yeah, correctly priced. That's maganda yung ambience na. Yeah, PR ako nila ngayon. <laughs> Ito yung PR nila ngayon. <laughs> Yan. So if you have any questions, uh, ito yung business mail ko, ito yung business phone number ko. Uh, I'm a busy man. Di ba busy ako? Like, I have a job. But like, I'm streaming right now. In the future, <laughs> my time is not free. So, yung gagawin nyo lang, touch nyo lang ako, or email nyo lang ako. Hey, MJ, uh, state nyo yung concern nyo or yung problem nyo, uh, can you help me with this? Yada, yada. Tapos, can I invite you to a coffee? Yun lang naman. Like, invite me to a coffee and then, uh, usap tayo. Yun. If you wanna connect in the future. I'm proud of myself, man. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Please call Sir Sabit. Hello, Sir Sabit. Ah, there was like a part here. I'm gonna, you know, do a quick bathroom break. There was a part here that was cut. I think it was like, yeah, it's not relevant. You'll understand, like, if you've seen my previous streams, oh, yeah, like the schedule. It's kind of a, yeah. But yeah, q and I'll do this. Let me just first do a quick bathroom break. Like, it's... Not a lot. It's just maybe like fifteen minutes. Yeah, fifteen minutes left. Don't worry, I washed my hands, guys. Okay, so, so we're going to have a question and answer uh, portion, and we're going to, you're going to have to answer the questions, if that's all right with you. <laughs> Okay, so, okay, guys, if you have any questions for our speaker, please type them in the chat or raise your hand and we'll address them one by one. Right? <laughs> there, we have a question by John yes, Lesias. Is this uh, a prepared question? <laughs> what approaches can help mitigate cultural and language barriers in global remote teams? Prepared question, you want to do it? Does it? How do you know? No, no, no. It's not mine. The question is by Mr. Cultural language barriers. Uh, just Yung mostly they use English. Yung, again, yung second company ko was Redify. It's a company based in you know, Singapore. May nakawork ako na Indonesians, Malaysians, uh, the UK. All of us use the English. So like, yun yung parang common yung. Uh, same thing. I, I feel it doesn't matter. Like, I like interview ako sa mga companies uh, like from China. 
they also use English. Uh, Chinese yung CEO nila, tapos yun. Pero yeah, yun yung common ano, mga medyo nahihirapan mag English, start na kaya mag-practice. <laughs> uh, yung language barriers in global remote teams. Actually, yung, yung language barriers is not really a problem. Yung pinaka-problem dito yung cultural barrier, yung cultural differences. Uh, nangyari ito sa akin na, na di ba, like, bago ako sa team, tapos push ako ng code, tapos kinode review yung code. Kinode review yung code, tapos yung senior na dev, nagbigay siya ng code review sa akin. Tapos yung code review, binasa ko yung code review, ano siya? Like, yung initial impression ko, ina ina-attack niya ako. <laughs> As a person. <laughs> yung initial impression ko, like, critic, man, critic. Pero, I think, what really helped dito, at least sa akin, like, to overcome yung cultural barrier, yung cultural differences, uh, gumamit ako ng ChatGPT. So, Pinopy ko yung code review, nilagay ko kay ChatGPT, tinanong ko kay ChatGPT, ano yung, ano yung, like, what is this person trying to tell me? Di ba? Like, ano yung, ano? As yun, nakita ko na, actually, he's just trying to help me improve yung code. Ito yung parts na gusto niyang, ito, like, he's trying to guide me, kumbaga. Hindi actually siya na, hindi actually na ina-attack niya ako. Pero yung, since of, because of the culture of body, akala ko talaga na yung initial, Impression ko talaga, sinatake niya ako sa person. Yan. Yeah, use, use yung whatever tools you have. Kung, kung hindi naman, ano yan, may AI tools naman, pero like, what people did before, walang AI tools before, uh, pinausap lang nila yung person. Like, like, try to ask the person ba na, what, like, can you help me understand ano yung sinasabi mo? Like, nangyayari ito, like, pagkausap yung QA, for example, yung QA, uh, bibigyan ka nila ng, ng, steps to reproduce, kasi hindi mo ma-reproduce yung steps. Oh, di mo magawa, like, tinry mo na talaga, tapos pwede mo i-ask sila, like, paano ba to, like, like, meet kayo, schedule kayo ng meeting, kita kayo, tapos, have a conversation. Yun. Yun lang. Thank you for that wonderful <laughs> wonderful <answer>. wonderful <laughs> <laughs> so does that answer your question tradition yes okay so okay let's have a, another question um if you have a question please raise your hand or you can just put it in a chat box hey adi meron okay so a question from francisca noveda how do you handle burnout or lack of motivation, especially when working from home? This and what, strategy, what strategies do you use to regain energy and stay productive? Mm, you know, burnout, it's, it's hard. It's hard when burnout. Because uh, the thing about that, it's mas mataas yung burnout rate sa tech kaysa sa mga surgeons. Like, Diba, the surgeons very stressful yung jobs nila, life or death. Tapos mas matas yung burnout rate pa rin ng tech kaysa sa kanila. Yeah, so that, this is a hard question. Pero like, yung burnout, like, I, I guess yung advice ko lang dyan is, do things na you enjoy outside of work. How was that? Like, you would think na nagko-code ako sa work, tapos bakit ako nagko-code pa sa a personal time ko. <laughs> like, why am I doing that? Diba? I'm, parang, ini, parang, pinapass forward ko lang yung burnout ko. Kung baga, no, that's not what I'm doing. And that's not what other devs are doing that codes under free time. The thing about, you know, as a coding sign, it's, it's like a hobby. I do it for fun. I like it. I like solving problems. Yung, sa work kasi, yung, yung sinosolve mo na problems, they're not your own. So, yun yung nakakakos ng burnout. Kasi, you're doing things na you don't enjoy. Like, it's para siyang, kasi it's work. It's what you do. Pas trabaho mo. Like, it, sometimes it gets monotonous, all the tool it, may, may ticket, may solve mo yung problem, may bagong ticket na naman. It's like, it's like infinite. All the tool it siya. So, it, if you let it get to you, mag-burn out ka talaga. So, like, what I do to recharge is, I quote, like, I'm aware ako, I'm aware that I like coding. It's not that I hate the job, I, I like I like coding, but like, I don't like yung monotonous nature ng job. Kasi wala kang choices, it's what pays the bills. Yung, yung, 
what I do on my free time, these are things I enjoy. The, CIA, the way I see that, it's a creative field. It's a creative field. Like it's how you, ex you can express yourself. You can express yourself. Like if you have like two developers, same problem, they will approach it differently. Like it's a creative tool. So parang it's how I let out my creative juices. Kumbaga, by coding alone. Or in the, in the lang to, like of course, another part is like have a life outside of work. So, so I work from home because it's easy to have your, your work more, tapos your life more. It's like, it's this. Wala ang choice. That's, that's what will happen in remote settings. Dati kasi, pag office kasi, you office more like, from sa bahay, travel ka, pag-commute, pag sa office, 9 to 5, tapos pag tapos na yung 9 to 5, balik ka sa bahay, and then, di ba, like, there's like a clear separation of work and life. Pero pag mag-remote work na kasi, wala nang ganun. Like, wala nang clear separation. So, I guess it's, don't try to resist it. Just accept na wala na siyang, like, yung separation is gone. Pero, try to have a life outside work. Like, go, like, so tech, like remote work, I'm mostly on my desk, sitting down. You know? So, try to go out. Lakad-lakad kayo, job. Or meet friends, meet people. Like, oh, I always, every time na, na, no, every month, my meet up, yung David, I always go there. Hindi ako member ng David. I only go there just to meet new people. So Nico is one of my closest friends. I met him on David. Like, I met him on David. This gentleman used to be one, like, one of my closest friends then. I met her on David. But I'm gonna, like, just go out there, actually touch grass, <laughs> touch grass, touch grass, like, meet people, uh, explore. I like traveling uh, last month to Puntao sa Baguio. <laughs> yeah, parang ganun, like, just, just have a life outside of work. Tapos, what strategies do you gain to regain energy and stay productive? Uh, I guess focus sessions. Focus sessions. Uh work kayo sa Pomodoro, right? Work kayo sa Pomodoro? No. It's like you, you have sessions na maybe 15, Five, 15 minutes you're working, five minutes break. Or pwede mong modify yun to 20, 10, 20 minutes uh, work ka, 10 minutes break. Like instead of like doing like eight hours na work, have breaks in between. It helps. Yeah, like it, yung break na yun, get up, uh, drink water, walk around, diba? like do some stretching. Yun. Yun. Ano ba? Music. It's kind of like I, I listen to music while I'm uh, while I'm coding. Cause, uh, so like music na it hypes me up. So, like like you beat the music, it hypes me up. Tapos nagaganahan ako mag <laughs> I do that then. Again, it depends naman sa inyo. Like uh, you will develop your own strategies. I'm not. There's no one solution that works with everyone. It depends talaga yun sa personality niyo, what type, how you work. Yeah. My, Alam ko na yung ibang devs, they have like a completely different way of working. Si Nico, he cannot work like I do. Like, hindi niya kaya na nasa office lang and like sa bahay niya. Hindi niya kaya yun. Like, he has to actually go out. He has to go out, be outside. Tapos, like, mga cafes ba, like, may mga tao na nag-walk around. Like, yun yung environment na gusto niya. Ako, I cannot do that. Kasi ako, if I try to do that, I distract ako. Pag nakikita ko na may naglalakad-lakad na mga tao, I cannot focus. So, hindi ko yung ginagawa. So, again, it depends uh, sa personality niyo, sa what type of, ano, what type of, like, yung, yung how you work ba. Malalaman niyo na naman yun, like, yung preferences niyo. Yeah. Uh, it's really dark. All right. I'm actually curious. Does that answer yeah, your really question? Like... Ah, my dick, you know. <laughs> that, mean, that means it's a very it's really satisfying dark. answer, Sigil. Okay, so let's have one more question. I mean, PM, 4 PM, uh, like before we head to the next part cloudy. of our program. I think it's going to rain later. Like, okay. Rain hard what? later. How can remote... Here's a question from Rogelio Osenia Jr. It's okay. This, this that. question is for you, Mr. Sabit. Oh, Mr. Sabit. <clears throat> How can remote developers ensure effective communication and collaboration with their team while working on complex coding projects, especially when working across different time zones? Uh, it 
depends uh, on the you know, Like, if, for example, if if Australia yung remote, Australia yung company mo, yung time zone nila is similar sa atin, so it's easy. You can work sa time nila. Pero, like, for example, kagaya ko, like, yung time zone ko is like Canada. It's like 12 hour difference. Yung, ano ba ngayon, 11 a.m. ngayon, sa kanila is, oh, 11 p.m. sa kanila. So, like, there's like this difference. That, so, yung ginagawa ko dyan is, I do some work sa umaga, some work lang. Tapos, may mga ports na may nahihirapan ako. Or like, hindi naman sa nahihirapan, but more like, hindi ko siya masasolve na, in, like, I need to ask questions. Like, for example, like, yung QA, navigation ng test steps, tapos tinry ko i-replicate, sinunod ko yung video na binigay niya sa akin, hindi ko ma-replicate, so I have to ask questions. Or, may, may ticket, tapos may specification, ano yung kailangan gawin, tapos hindi ko maintindihan, like, I need clar clarifications. So, yun, nag-allocate ako ng time na, na, gising sila. So, usually, yung work namin is like 9 to 5, so, yung 9 to 5 sa kanila, it's like 9 p.m. So, like, I go work ako sometime in the morning, sometime at night. It's mga 12, 12 now. Usually, yeah. Like, my first step on, like, maybe you can answer your question, Mr. Like, Sager. Learning out, learning, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, how so, you want to talk, can you? It's a very good answer, that. Okay, so... Does anyone else have a question or wala na? No more? I have a feeling these are like prepared twice. questions. These are like two good questions. Okay, so let's get let's get to the uh, no, awarding. Yeah. Uh, so... <laughs> no, I think I did well. I think I did well. Uh, review, review. Get it well. Will I talk again another new? It depends. It depends. Because uh, again, uh, they changed my title. I hate it so much. <laughs> I still am not forgiving them for changing my title. Mm. But yeah, I think next time if, if I'm ever to uh, give a talk and it's not the title that I want to talk about, it's not a topic I want to talk about, I think I will say no. And right now, it's okay. It's okay. This is my first talk. That's why it's okay. <laughs> okay, it's part of the experience. Yeah. Oh, it's excellent. Like it was unstable before. <laughs> it's actually like really dark. It's really dark right now. Like, like all. Mm, I think a lot of it is because it's cloudy and it's about to rain really hard later. But yeah. Ah, it was an experience. It was an experience. How do I say it? Oh, it actually, it lights up a lot. <laughs> How do I say it? Let me gather my thoughts. Let me gather my thoughts. Hmm. It's weird. It's weird. Because, like, I was expecting to cringe. I, and I was not cringing at all. Like, when I was watching me talking, I was like, I was just smiling. I was like, oh, shit. I'm proud. I'm really, 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 really proud of like my past self. But you know, they were able to do it despite the little preparation that they were given. The the little, yeah, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I guess the next time you'll see me give a talk, it will be in public. It will not be online. That's one thing that I can at least. Uh, guarantee you guys watching right now. The next talk that I will give will be offline. Hopefully, hopefully there will be a recording of it. I I don't know because I've seen, I've seen like recordings of it. Some of it are good. Like I mean, like offline talks. But like sometimes, sometimes technical problems do occur. Uh, for example, I'll, I'll give you guys an example. I think there was like this Python talk, right? Python ph talk on youtube right and then the the where is it 
I have PH. Not seven months ago. I, the recent ones. The recent ones. I remember. Where was it? Where is it? Oh, this one. This one. One thing that I do is debate. Luckily, Pan says something. That oh, there's a voice. What? The first time I, I heard this, there was no voice. So. Oh, maybe they fixed it. Like, I remember I watched this before. I watched this the first time. And I remember, it. like, see, there's like a comment. There's no voice. So maybe they re uploaded it. They re uploaded it and fixed it. Because, yeah, but like, what I'm trying to say is that maybe, just maybe, that might happen, right? Recording, offline recording, and then. The talk is out there, but like you can't hear it, or like the audio is messed up. So, so yeah, that's the thing I'm concerned about. But it's a problem for the future me. Right now, I'm just happy. I'm just satisfied that I was able to do an online talk. Yeah. yeah. I guess that's about it. Uh, I still have work to do. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. This is like the first time I've shown the thing. It's the, the video is actually not public yet. Actually, I'll show you. I'll make it public right now. I'll make it public right now. I'll go to my YouTube studio. Let's make it public uh, later. Let's put, let's schedule it. Let's schedule it. All right, let's schedule it today. So, uh, October, no, no, October 4. Let's schedule it today and 10 p.m why 10 p.m just because let's schedule it 10 p.m yeah. yeah 23 2024 scheduled i'm just gonna check the description okay playlist okay everything's good everything's good okay everything's good I'm just checking if it's in the playlist. Okay. That's about it. That's about it. So yeah. You guys saw the talk here the first time. Yeah. <laughs> VIP seat. The premiere. Uh, later. Later. It's gonna be public. It's in Tagalog. It's in Filipino. It's it's not in English. Um, I don't think I'll put subtitles on. I, I don't think... Uh, I'm just like one creator, okay? I don't, I cannot afford hiring someone to do the subtitles for me, and I'm not willing to do it. <laughs> I'm not willing to add English subtitles. If there's like people who, who want to volunteer to, to add like English subtitles, I really appreciate it. Yeah, maybe I'll give you a tip, <laughs> but I cannot give like a full time salary. I'm sorry, like I, I'm, 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 I'm a software engineer, but like, you know, we're not. I'm getting paid enough to live alone, but not not enough to kind of start my own company, okay? That's about it. I mean, I'm, I'm still early on in my career. We just reached one year on my company. And I'm not sure when I was hired, but all I remember, it was like late October. So like around, and it's late October, right? It's already late October. So like around this time, I was hired. At my current company last year so i just turned one year i just turned one year yeah and i'm just really happy how far i've come i'm just really happy yeah you guys don't do not know my setup before uh actually you can my setup before was like scoffed <laughs> my setup before was like where was it where was it before i was able to move out See, this was like my, my setup before. Let's let's watch this for example. Huh? Oh wait, I cannot. I cannot watch it. So you guys can see the difference between my previous setup and my current setup. Like how far I've come. See, look at that. <laughs> Look at that man. Look at that. 
<laughs> yeah. Right now I'm renting, renting a place. This was before I was able to move out. I mean, I'm still the same me. I've been, I'm still using the same microphone. I'm still using the same microphone stand. Uh, I'm still the same me. My headset, I, I bought a new one. Yeah. I was using plastic chair, like a plastic chair back then, like this thing. Like plastic chair. I was using this chair. Yeah. And it was color green. It was something like this, yeah. It was this chair in particular, specifically. But imagine this, but like color green. That was my chair before. <laughs> before, I was, before I was able to afford this chair that I currently have. Oh, it's... Yeah. I've come a long way, man. I've come a long way. Now, I was actually, you know, I was able to talk. I was invited for a talk in a university. It was like, yeah, it's, 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 it's humbling. Yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, like I'm excited where, where I'll be a year from now, right? Like, I'm actually glad that I, I started Twitch. I'm really glad I started Twitch, started documenting everything. So I can, I can see my progress, right? And I can look back and yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy for me. It's crazy. It's crazy. I know it's it's not much, right? It's not much giving a talk to you, like a university student, like an online talk, nonetheless. But it's still something, right? It's still something, and for me, it's something. Even if it's a little thing, it's something I am proud of. Yeah, and I want to do more. I want to do more in the future. I want to do more. I want to do more uh, public talks. Not online though, like I, I want to do on offline next time. I want to do offline. Yeah. So, watch out for that. Yeah. <laughs> this is me <clears throat> signing off. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Thank you for like, following in, in this journey. <laughs> I really, really. OBS died. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait until you know I can see it again. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. This is goodbye. I actually bye bye. Thank you. Thank you so much.